Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Maria, or it's MJ here on YouTube. So as you guys saw by the title, in today's video, we're going to be doing my huge declutter right before I show you guys my entire perfume collection. Also, I want to mention real quick that um, as per my last video, in the next video, watch out for that, I'll be mentioning the giveaway winner. A lot of these are perfumes that you probably thought that I would never declutter because I also didn't think that I was going to declutter them. But ever since I moved, and not just that, but like, you know, if you've been watching me for quite a while, you know that um, I get rid of stuff just to keep a semi-normal collection. It's still not normal, but semi-normal collection just to make room for other things. Or if I'm not wearing you and I find replacements along the line that I'm buying stuff and whatever, you gotta go. You end up in the chopping list so that is what we'll be uh, can't speak today but that's what we'll be doing today also if you're not subscribed already please subscribe it helps me out a whole lot you guys can also have a chance to do to enter more giveaways etc and just chit chat with me and just keep up with you know perfume talk especially if you enjoy talking about fragrances because that's pretty much what we do on this channel sometimes we do other things a little bit here and there but most of the time that is what we're talking about so anyways without rambling on too much let's get on with the video so before i start i do want to mention that there is not really one fragrance here that i can say that i absolutely don't like at all i hate i detest i really am decluttering them just because i found myself not really reaching for them anymore or i just simply found replacements that i preferred over the ones that i have so let's go over it i just don't want to make this video super long but here is all the perfumes that i'm going to declutter and the way that i'm going to go through this is in no particular order whatsoever i'm just going to go through the bag and pick and choose and we'll talk about it uh like so first one that i see here is um dng number three l'imperatrice the last time that i really wore this one was in the summer of last year i believe this one was my top uh summer perfume like i said none of these are perfumes that I can say oh my god like i can't stand them or whatever this is good it's refreshing it's easy it's also really cheap i still recommend this i'm probably gonna give it away i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do with any of these i don't know if i'm gonna sell them or give them away it's a great summer perfume especially if you live somewhere in the heat um it's very easy and i love the bottle of this it's super minimalistic and it's very pretty super um photogenic <laughs> very like instagram worthy one of those that you spray on a lot and you never feel overwhelmed but i just don't wear it anymore and um i just want to declutter it so that is dng number three limpiatrice wow <laughs> i wish y'all saw how close that was to falling anywho next one on the list is rihanna rebel fleur i feel like you guys would never thought that i would get rid of this one neither did i <sighs> This one smells so good. <laughs> Low key, this is why you like it's so hard to declutter because you start smelling them if you haven't um, worn them in a while. You're like, this smells good as hell. Damn. Mm, okay, this is a great celebrity perfume. I got J Lo Miami Glow and I really like that one as well. And I felt like that was the replacement of this one. And I hate this bottle. And I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons when I, why I want to declutter it. Just because it takes up so much space. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm not decluttering this one. This one has amazing performance, like super good performance. It's a great celebrity perfume. And it just smells so, so sexy, so tropical, so grown up. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I changed my mind. Okay, I'm not getting rid of that one. I wasn't wearing it anymore. The last time that I wore it was like the summer of last year. It's a good one. I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> okay. The next one that I'm getting rid of for sure is Zadik and Voltaire. This is her. Uh, this is one that I went back and forth with like a whole lot. I didn't like it at all. Then I ended up liking it. Then I didn't. I, I just kept going back and forth with it. It has sandalwood and whipped cream notes. Hazelnut, I believe as well. But for me, it's definitely more on the woody side. And it has a clean jasmine. It did get sweeter than what I remember saying but it's still definitely like a clean sandalwood perfume this actually smells pretty great on a guy as well but um yeah it's just like i don't know i wasn't really wearing it and i found myself like trying to like it more than what i really did 
so I just definitely don't need to keep it but there's nothing really that wrong with that one as well so Sadiq and Voltaire this is her has got to go all right another one that I really really enjoyed and this is Michael Kors uh, what's the name of this one Midnight Shimmer this is the perfect literally the perfect vanilla for a while, I was looking for just a very basic vanilla, nothing extravagant, nothing different, nothing unique. I just wanted like a literal, just a basic vanilla, like a Bath and Body Works vanilla, but in a perfume. <laughs> and this is the most perfect vanilla ever. It's pretty similar to uh, Kayali Vanilla 28, which is also another very simple vanilla, but this one has better performance for me. However, I just don't care for it anymore um and it just kind of just got boring i liked it when i wanted the simple vanilla but i just don't care for a simple vanilla anymore it's also a great layering perfume but i just found myself not wearing it anymore and i have the purple one which is way better in my opinion in the aspect of um the other one is way more unique it's a like western take on a middle eastern perfume as a matter of fact let me get it right now to show you guys all right so this is the one that i'm talking about this is the twilight shimmer it's called and i have this one in the big boy and i have a pretty good dent on this perfume this one i believe is discontinued but yeah this one is way more unique it's like a gourmand oriental it has just these dried like fruits it's very very unique very different but yeah like an americanized middle eastern perfume it's really good and i prefer that one Right, the next one that I'm getting rid of is, not ready for this, Armani Code Cashmere. I have Armani Code Satin. They both smell pretty similar, but satin is a tad bit more sweet. The problem that I have with these is they smell really good, very good. I think that they're very sexy as well. They have both of them. They have like a great sex appeal and they have something similar like um, Carolina Herrera Good Girl that it has that masculine like touch, that masculine edge. Kind of like a leather jacket, red lip kind of moment. But the problem that I have with them is I have to literally drench myself in this perfume to kind of feel it. And this is a small bottle. This is a 1.750 ml and i literally just ran through it and i believe this is like one wear or two wears and i was not feeling the performance on these two so i so far i have kept satin just because i really enjoy the dna but there has never been once that like someone has told me that i smell good or like i just expected so much more out of performance and they suck so for now, I have gotten rid of cashmere, but I might get rid of satin as well. And I believe that they're discontinued too, so that sucks. All right, the next one that I have on the list is one that I really enjoy, really enjoy. I believe this one was in my top for spring and summer, but I just don't wear it anymore. Like, I just don't. And I have one that I prefer more in this category, so... This is uh, Aura from Terry Moogler, or also, well, now known as Moogler. And this is the EDT version. Um, this one is a very unique perfume. You're just not gonna find something that smells, like another perfume that smells like this. <sighs> wow. I haven't sprayed this one in quite a while. This one is a really good one. <laughs> I still have like my work band. <sighs> this one is uh, fruity fresh but it has a slight bit of a creaminess to me this smells like a head and shoulder conditioner not the shampoo but the conditioner so it still smells clean and fresh but it has that creamy aspect to it it's very different very unique i have not smelled the edp but i've heard that the edp is a little bit more hard to digest than the edt still a great perfume but unfortunately i literally was not wearing it anymore and it's very unique and it smells bomb as hell it has like a slight like grassy touch to it very different but i do have another perfume which is flora botanica from balenciaga that one also has a green aspect to it they're different because this one has that creamy sweet touch and the other one is more uh, fresh and dry but i just wear flora botanica way more than i wear this one so unfortunately this one is gonna go and it smells really good too like really good oh this sucks this sucks <laughs> It's gonna go. It's, it's just, it's gonna go. Okay. All right. The next one that's gonna go is, wow, all these I feel like are quite surprised. 
Um, this is the scent Private Accord for her. I believe this was literally one of my videos for like top for life. <sighs> Another one that smells freaking awesome. <sighs> so fucking good. It smells so good. Why do I not wear you anymore? I don't even know why I don't wear you anymore. Longevity on this one is not the best. But it's not horrible like for me it was never horrible as people described it to be but it's just not the best but it was never that bad for me either like it's so good this i will say though the orange is pretty short-lived and then you just get more of the cocoa powder aspect of it still great but i just never was wearing it anymore there was a time especially during the fall that i wore this like a whole lot but i just don't wear it anymore so and I don't even have anything else in my collection that smells like this, really. Like a straight up strawberry chocolate. I just don't. But I don't wear it anymore. So look, like I'm just trying not to have like, I'm just trying to detach myself. No, no, I'm not looking back. <laughs> All right, the next one. I don't even know where the cap is. This is Serge Luton's The Tour Noir. Um, I didn't really wear this one. I want to say that I wore it like maybe two or three times. Not bad at all not like not bad at all it has a creamy it's a creamy floral but it does have still that waxy serge luton's dna and it has also this sun tanny lotion aspect to it it smells more like an elevated uh mature sun tanny lotion type of perfume but it does definitely fall into that category but I'm not the biggest fan of Santani lotion perfumes. Like, I just don't really care for them. The one that I really enjoy the most was Tom Ford or the Soleil Blanc. But that one didn't smell to me like a suntan. It smelled more like skin. Like, the way your skin smells, like, after being in the pool. And it doesn't smell bad at all, like, at all. But I, I have others that I prefer way more. So I know that I'm not going to wear that one as often. So I'll rather, you know have it go to someone that will wear it way more than me the next one that i have on this chopping list is one that i'm not sure of at all and it is one of these i was actually gonna declutter both of them and i don't remember which one but i wore it to sleep which is like what i usually did with these two anyways and i was like why am i like gonna declutter it again because this is one of my favorite sleeping perfumes it just makes me go to sleep like a freaking baby and they both smell pretty similar but this one does have like a fruitier fresher touch uh than this one this one's more warmer and this one definitely has a slight tropical aspect to it i think i'm gonna keep this one though just because it actually stands and this is so freaking annoying the way that it just lays like that like why like that's it's just horrible and this one since i live in florida since it has that passion fruit um it's just a little bit more fresher and a little bit more year-round for me even though i have worn this one in the heat it does not bother me at all but i just it just makes sense to keep only one not two but uh yeah so i think it's gonna be angel muse that i declutter wow do you guys see like i'm i think i'm doing pretty good i'm just like bye bye i'm not trying to have it right now all right another one that i have here uh which <laughs> it's somewhere in this bag okay i don't know where the top is but i see that this thingy is there so the top must be there is intense cafe from montala literally absolutely nothing wrong with this i literally got a sample like literally got a sample that same night that i got the sample i ordered myself a bottle really liked it but i have way too i'm looking at it right now i have way too many rose perfumes and this one just kind of fell flat for me after a while i really did get it for the coffee and even though after smelling the sample i was like this is straight up like a sugary rose rather than coffee coffee there's a slight like in the opening in the literal opening there's a slight blast of dark coffee but that dissipates for sure and then it's just like sugary rose but um i have like way too many rose perfumes and i don't know like and i found myself also just not like being underwhelmed in the aspect that for me for me because i know it's one that projects like a whole lot for a lot of people was kind of just normal it lasted yeah like throughout my eight hour work shift and till i got home i could still smell it on myself but it was in a beast mode 
and for some reason I expected it to be a beast mode and it really wasn't for me so that's another thing that just like threw me off and I was like oh, whatever I'll just rather wear my other rose perfumes like for example um, the Nina Ricci L'Extasis the, the, the black bottle that I absolutely love kinda in the same family of this and I way much way much prefer the black Nina, Nina Ricci bottle not bottle but perfume in general and bottle the bottle sexy as hell than this so uh yeah intense cafe gotta go it's just still a great perfume though not gonna lie it, it really is but it's just it's just gonna go okay all right the next one that i have here is <laughs> well i technically already said this in another video la belle i'm i'm just getting rid of it i just ordered last night the le parfum version uh, which I did enjoy more so I'm getting rid of La Belle. I did not want to get rid of it y'all like ugh, this is probably like yeah probably one of the harder ones to get rid of. I think that it still smells amazing bomb as hell but I just was not wearing it anymore and the other one the lip parfum version it smells very similar to La Belle but it has I want to see like a fruitier touch like a candied fruitier touch which I find a little bit more flirty and this one I do find a little bit more mature and I have a lot of mature perfumes in my collection because I do enjoy uh, mature perfumes I don't know I just I find the lip parfum version a little bit more exciting not gonna lie that is my declutter for you guys I think I'm not missing anything let me see it I have some bottles in here, but these are just like um, some bottles that I got gifted from. Oh, look, I found the, the cap. I found the cap from Fragranza. They, I never mentioned it, uh, but this is Sensual Flame. This smells bomb as hell. And that's, how, look, look, how cool is that? They sent me like three or four bottles and they have like my picture in the back. I'll probably mention it in another video, but not only was I shook because I, they, first of all, they did not ask me to record a video. They did not ask me to post it. They like, they didn't even contact me. They just sent me um, my stuff. How did they get my address now to think about it? That's a good, wow. <laughs> huh. Huh. Like I literally just thought about that. How did they get my address? But they just sent me, um, yeah, for real, because I don't have like in my description box, my address. But anyway, they sent me, um, just bottles not to reveal like i said or anything and they have like my picture in the back so i thought that was like pretty cool but in the beginning i'm not gonna lie i was like who, who, who's this from what like mm, what's going on <laughs> and but most of all what i really found crazy is that they pick perfumes that i would actually enjoy and i was like whoever does their like marketing pr or whatever like is really good at what they do because they obviously had to do some sort of research and dig into what we enjoy because I know other girls got sent some perfumes too because they sent me like creamy florals and those are my favorites. <sighs> so good. But yeah, this is Sensual Flame from Fragranza. And I was like, wow, they actually know what I like. Because all the ones that they sent me were amazing. They sent me another one that's like a dupe. Or, or clone of Tom Ford Bitter Peach, which also smelled amazing. They sent me like some uh, Killian one. I forgot, I think they sent me two Killian clones, but whatever. So that's from Fragranza, and I think, I think that's it, yeah, I think that's it. But I'm not decluttering that one, I just wanted to mention it real quick because it was there. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Comment down below what are some perfumes that you're considering to declutter or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, as always, you guys can comment down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm going to also be announcing the giveaway winner once again in the next video. So watch out for that. So anyways, bye guys.